Hello everybody! So grab your NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and make sure to apply it on your crease area. Now you have to blend the color upwards because we're going to start working with this part. And make sure to use your ring finger to spread the color because you don't want to have like wrinkles in that area, right? Okay, so we're going to be using the Kat Von D True Love palette and the first color that we're going to be using is called Shiba. It's a dark purple tone. So I'm going to apply that on my crease area very lightly. It's okay if it's not perfect. We're going to fix that later. If you made any mistake, you can just easily clean that with a Q-tip. Now we're going to highlight the brow bone and I'm going to be using Messy. Uh, that is the white color from the palette. Now we're going to apply more of the uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil on the rest of the eyelid, really, really carefully. And now I'm going to be using Babe. Babe is the lightest color from this beautiful palette. So make sure to pack it on and apply it on that area. Now we're going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil and the color is called Zero. It's actually a black pencil so you can use any black pencil you have available. And we're going to contour the crease very lightly and of course we're going to blend that upwards. Just like that. So, so this is going to give us definition in that area and that's what we want. Then we're going to apply a tiny bit of a black eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this one that's called Lucifer. And we're going to spread the color upwards. And of course we're going to blend it. Now if you feel that like you need more purple eyeshadow, this is the time to apply it. Alrighty, so get your NYX Cream Glitter Palette and apply just a little bit of the uh, primer potion that you have available. This is going to help to adhere the glitter to the eyelid. Now I'm going to be using the first lavender color from the palette and I'm going to apply it at the inner part of my eyelid just like that. Very very gently you know. So a good tip is that when you're working with glitter or when with heavy eyeshadows, like heavy colors, make sure to do your eyes first and then do your face because you don't want to end with tons of fallout and shadows on your cheeks and things like that. Now I'm going to apply the second purple from the palette and I'm going to apply it also at the outer part, just like that. Now I'm going to be doing my brows and as you can see I already apply more purple at the crease area. So now my eyes look like more on the purple side and I like it. It looks much better with the glitter. Now do your brows. And after that you need to line the eyes. Now make sure to use a black eyeliner. I'm actually using a liquid eyeliner because it's easy for me to do this with a liquid eyeliner. And just do a small uh, tail at the outer corner of your eye. Very, very gently. Okay, so we're going to move on to the face area right now. And first of all, you need to find your cheekbones because we want to have like really defined cheekbones. And then you're going to grab your bronzing powder and you're going to very lightly apply the color on that area. Also you're going to apply the same uh, color on the jaw line. So then I applied my falsies and as you can see right now I'm just curling the lashes because I want to, uh, I want to mix my falsies with the real lashes. And we're going to finish with mascara. 
good job alrighty so now get a little bit more of babe you know the lightest purple color from the palette and this time we're gonna apply it at the lower lash line okay now it's time to grab again your Urban Decay uh, Zero pencil and this time we're gonna line the uh, lower lash line and also the waterline. So as you can see I already applied my foundation, my concealer, my powders and all of that and that's why I'm working with my eyes again. Now you need to smudge lid lining because you don't want to have like strong lining on that area. And then we're going to move on to do the second tail at the outer corner of the eye. This step's really simple, just do a straight line, like a horizontal line at the um, uh, uh, outer corner. <laughs> and uh, just fill in any gap that you had until you have uh, found the right shape that you want. The lighting doesn't have to be like too big. It's okay if you do just like a small lining, okay? Now we're going to highlight the inner corners of the eyes and for that we're going to apply like the same uh, white color that comes with the palette. It's called Missy. And we're going to apply mascara at the bottom lashes because this is going to help us to open up the eyes even more. So this looks going to be really dramatic and really, really beautiful. Okay, now we're going to apply a little bit of a white pencil between the two little tails that we have at the outer corner. Just like that. Now if you want, you can apply just on top of that um, any white eyeshadow that you have available. So as you can see, this is the final outcome. Okay, so now for the face, we're going to mix these two colors. It's a mixture between a pinky and a peachy tone. And we're going to apply that on the uh, apples of the cheeks and we're going to blend it upwards. Now we're going to line the lips. I'm using a bronzy color. And I'm going to make sure to spread the color and to fill in all my lips. Now I'm going to be using this uh, beautiful color from NYX that is called Iris. It's a natural color so it's perfect for this look. And we're going to finish with a little gloss. So that's it. I hope you like this look and if you do, please don't forget to leave me your comments. So thanks for watching. See you later guys. Bye bye.